It was exactly 17 years ago today when Frank Hill experienced the joy of a state title. So he was a starter for Lincoln View as undefeated state champs. Now head coach of the T-Birds, Kill is trying to lead LCC to its second ever state title. Yesterday, Martise Kimbrough outplayed Roger Bacon's Carlos Jackson, one of the three people the future Indy Greyhound shared D3 Player of the Year honors. Up next, Cleveland Villa Angela St. Joseph's, who won the D4 crown last season and also boasted D3 Player of the Year. And junior Brian Parker out at the shop. Bright lights on the senior Martise Kimbrough getting introduced, playing in the biggest game of his career. Game ready to play, dials up a three to open the scoring, three nothing LCC. There was a lot more where that came from. Here again, stops, pops, hits the elbow, jumper, 7-4 T-Birds. Then later Kimbrough pulls up from the wing, drains the three, he had four triples in the first half. LCC out to a 12-4 first quarter lead. BASJ hanging tough, Carlton Bragg gets the bucket here and the foul. Finish with a game high 23, LCC leads by six. T-Birds now, guess who? Kimbro pulls up from the baseline, coming to play in the biggest game of his career. Then some nice passing for LCC. Challenges the taller defender, 12 points, seven boards for Jake Williams that was. Now the nice passing for LCC. Two more for Williams, 24-14 LCC on top. Then more Kimbro. Corner three, that's up and good. 27-18 LCC, time winding down in the second. Here's Trey Cobbs on the drive, kicks it out to Kimbrough. Of course that's going in. The senior with 18 first half points, including the four threes. T-Birds lead 34-25 at the half. Third quarter now, Cobbs off the mark, but Williams is there for the put back. T-Birds by nine. And Xavier Simpson running the floor. He got hot in the second half. It's a 12 point LCC lead, 18 on the night for Xavier. But they never put St. Joe's away. Pass inside to Derek Pardon. Easy two. Pardon finished with 15. Other end, Simpson with the answer. A nice little runner there. Back to a 13 point lead. Now time winding down in the third. Corey Stewart beats the buzzer. And LCC leads 49-41 headed to the fourth. State title on the line. VASJ not going down easy. Brian Parker the end one. It's a five point game. Now game tied at 51. Cobbs on the drive, leaves it for Stewart. That's a big short jumper right there. LCC has the lead, a minute and change to play now. T-Birds by two, Simpson the floater. He loves that shot, nothing but net. So good at that, 59, 55 LCC. Last chance for St. Joe's down by two. Look at that, the heave from three quarter court hits the rim, but it's no good and LCC, they are the state champs. 64, 62 the final. First state title for the T-Birds since 2010. The first under head coach, Frank Kill, who was understandably emotional after the victory. Well, the good Lord's been good to me. And he, uh, he blessed me with some guys and I, and I continued to, to ask for, for guys to follow me. And, 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 I, and I continue to keep my faith and because you know, without my faith, you know, it, it could have went south and he kept me positive. And, and during the season, you know, when we, got, we had our four losses, it was tough. But our guys continue to believe. I believed in them. I never once doubted them that we were doing anything wrong. We just needed to, to, to tighten some things up and tweak some things here and there. And after 29 games, I'm so proud of our guys and I'm so proud of the way that they played. And right, we all we all knew that we were going to see this team, whether that was the semis or next year or somebody. We all knew what they had, so we decided that everybody think we're going to be underdogs. Let's defeat these guys. Like, don't even worry about what the fans say. Let's stay in our box. And we knew we we're going to defeat these guys from the beginning, which is we walked into the locker room today. And we did it. We, we accomplished our goal. That was a huge motivation for us. A lot of people uh, doubted us, and we were underdogs going into this game. So we wanted to prove the entire state wrong and come out with a victory. I'm a senior, and this is my last game, and no bigger stage to play on in the state tournament. So I wanted to give it all I had and leave it out on the court. I was way too young to remember some of the state trips we took uh, when I was little. But I know I've heard my dad. He's been on the bench for uh, all of them. I don't even know. but. Uh, he, uh, I know I've heard stories of so many stories of we're up seven with 30 seconds left and we lose and you know some people call it it's, it's a curse we just we just couldn't get over it and uh, um, when that shot hit off the backboard that full court shot it was uh, there's nothing like it it's a great feeling this means a lot uh, I've never had a feeling like this uh, I want to thank God just everyone that came supported us and the whole LCC community I was so happy I can make that shot to help out my team and then get the crowd excited and everybody pretty much knew we were going to win when we hit that shot. It needs the world. I'm so happy we won state. My dad and I practiced floater since third and fourth grade. He knew I was going to be a small point guard and playing against Carlton Bragg that's 6'10 and Derek Carter that's 6'8. I knew I was going to have to shoot that floater. I can't, I'm not always going to be good to a layup. So I knew I was going to get that floater over their hand when they jump. I love this feeling. We got, we, this will be working hard since practice number one. 
and we got what we deserve. You know, we coming in this game, yeah, St. Joe, they were they, they were ranked number higher, you know, higher than us, but we had to believe we were number one. We've always said every champion was once a contender, and today we were tired of being the, the contender, and now we're the champion. We knew they had a lot of D1 players, and we had a lot of, it was a lot of, it was a rowdy just hear from him, so we tried to keep our composure. We, our coach told us to throw the first punch, and that's what we did. And luckily, we came out here successfully. You know, I went over to Coach Sagerson, and I, and I thanked him for all the things he's done for me in terms of teaching me the game, teaching me how to coach, helping me to understand kids, and, and, and how to deal with parents and, and, and media and stuff like that. You know, he's put me in this position, you know, and it was by the graces of God he, you know, that I was able to do that today. Here I am 17 years later to, to do something that I could do for my team and, and, and to give that moment to my players. I, I, I'm, so, I'm so excited for them and, and I'm, I'm grateful for my family to be here and, and our fans, my gosh, they were wonderful today.